I do not believe the Seattle Seahawks are a playoff team. Uh, so far this year, they've been a huge surprise. I mean, no offense to them. They're 4-3. and three. As of Week 9, they're in the playoff uh, running. If you look at the standings, right now the Seahawks technically are a playoff contender. But we're only seven games in, and if you take a closer look, um, it's not as impressive as it sounds. First of all, the biggest surprise for the Seattle Seahawks was uh, when they almost beat the LA Rams. They lost 33-31 to to the Rams. Yeah, that was a good game. It was highly competitive. I felt like the Rams played down to their level of competition a little bit. And really, I felt like that game said more about the Rams than it did the Seahawks, that the Rams fought through adversity and ultimately won that game. Now, if you look at the Seahawks' four wins this year, they beat the Cardinals by a meager three points, and the Cardinals are terrible. They beat the Raiders. Woo! They beat the Raiders, the worst team in football. <laughs> like, I think it's pretty telling the Raiders' only win this year is against the Cleveland Browns. How hilarious is that? Um, they beat the Cowboys in September. The Seahawks beat the Cowboys, and it's not... Like, again, that's a team without any wide receivers. Um, I, I don't know the, how impressive that win really was. And now last week, the Seahawks beat the Lions. I thought that was probably their most impressive win of the year. Uh, they won 28-14 to and looked like a really good football team. They ran the ball really well, did a great job of play action. I was impressed by the Seahawks' last win. So only one of their four wins so far has been like, yeah, quality, great job. And they have played playoff teams, and they lost. They, they lost to the Rams. They lost to, and they lost to the Broncos, who aren't a playoff team. That's concerning. So, um, I don't know. I think there's a lot of trouble ahead for the Seattle Seahawks, and that's why I would say they're not a playoff team. Their wins to this point have not been very impressive. It's been surprising. It's been a good story, good for them, all that good stuff. And, and I r- encourage you to look back. Remember when articles early this year said, should the Seahawks consider trading Russell Wilson? How dumb does that sound now? Week nine, that sounds like a dumb thing. But if you look at the next eight games for the Seattle Seahawks, that's concerning. Here are the next six. Here are six of the next eight games for the Seahawks. The next games for the Seahawks, they play the Chargers, the Rams, the Packers, the Panthers, the Vikings, and the Chiefs. Six playoff teams. Oh, yeah, by the way, they played the 49ers twice. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be a valiant effort this year. I'm happy for the Seahawks. They fought harder than I expected. And they never did give in. They never said, we're rebuilding. They said, we're not rebuilding. We're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. I respect that fight. But I don't think that makes the Seahawks a playoff team. Their, six of their next eight games are brutal. And the 49ers are still no pushover. So I, I do not believe the Seahawks are going to make the playoffs. Again, their wins so far are not very impressive. And I think if you look ahead, they're going to play six playoff teams in the next eight weeks. That's terrifying. And I do not believe, for that reason, the Seattle Seahawks are a playoff team. I repeat, the Seattle Seahawks are not a playoff team. My name is Zach Schaumler. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. It means a ton to me. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my pride and joy, my favorite thing in the entire world. If you're not aware, you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube, as well as shorter, interesting breakouts like the one you just watched. And if you really want to help me grow, it would mean a lot to me if you shared this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about this show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Thank you so much, and have a great day.